Hi, I'm Wendy Gardner and I'm going to show you how to make this lovely Macawa Christmas stocking advent calendar. Cut the backing fabric the same size as the printed panel. That's 60 centimetres wide by the full width. And then place the backing fabric behind the printed panel, wrong side up, so the wrong sides are together because the printed panel is wrong side down. Then you can cut out the stockings, both layers together, following the dotted lines around each one, cutting the backing fabric at the same time. There's my first one, all cut out with the backing fabric as well. The next step is to neaten the top edge. Now either you can cut a very scant amount away with pinking shears or you can over edge stitch or zigzag stitch the end. Turn the top edge under along the printed line and then press. Do the same on the backing piece, turning under the same amount and pressing in place. Once you've done this on all of the little stocking pieces, you're ready to top stitch that turned under edge in place. Place the little stocking piece under the presser foot so that the inner edge of the right toe on the foot butts up against the edge of the fabric and then move the needle across using the stitch whip dial. Then you can stitch nice and close to the edge. Stitch along the first little mini stocking and without taking it out and taking the uh, cutting off the fabric, put the next one in place and continue to stitch. Do this for all of them. This not only saves a lot of time, it will save a lot of thread too. Now cut them all apart so they become individual stockings again and then press all the top edges to embed the stitches. You can do this in batches. Once they're all pressed, it's time to put the stockings with the backings back together again. So right sides together, put one backing with one stocking so they're ready to sew around the outer edge. If you sew with the printed panel uppermost, you can actually see the outline that you need to follow. You can see the outline, it's about a quarter of an inch, six millimetres away from the edge. And I'm going to start sewing one centimetre from the top edge and then reverse stitch back to the top and then forward. And this will prevent having thread tails right at the very end and also prevent the end of the fabric being pulled down into the feed dogs. As you get to the toe you'll need to pivot the fabric. So stop with the needle down, raise the press of foot Twist the fabric a little, lower the press of foot and stitch two or three stitches. Keep doing this all the way around the toe and around the heel to get a nice smooth curve. I'm now going to trim down the seam allowance to a scant three millimetres, which is an eighth of an inch. And then once I've done that, I will clip into the seam allowance diagonally, close to but not through the stitching, all the way around the curved area. This will help the fabric turn through nice and smoothly for a beautifully even curve. Press the stockings and then turn them through. Push out the heels and the toes with a point turner or a knitting needle, gently pushing out the curves so you get a lovely smooth finish. And once they're all turned through, press again. Cut the ribbon into lengths of 9cm 
three and a half inches and then fold each into a loop. Pin and stitch the loop to the back of the stocking at the top heel edge. You can do this either inside the stocking or outside, that's entirely up to you. And just stitch across by machine or hand. Once they've all got their ribbon loops, give them a final press to get a nice crisp finish. So there we have 24 beautifully printed little advent calendar stockings from the Makawa panel. Of course, how you hang them is entirely up to you. You can hang them in numerical order or random order, on one length of string on the mantle, or indeed individually on a tree. So finally, also printed on this lovely panel are six gift cards. What you do with them is entirely up to you because they're little bonus extras. Here are a few ideas. Now what I have done is I have fused with Bondaweb another fabric on the back which gives them some body and I've cut them out with pinking shears. So here I have made a little bit of bunting, perhaps you could hang that on the fridge or of course use them as gift tags. I've also made a place setting. And this one I have embroidered a name on it and I've actually stitched around the outside edge with an over edge stitch. This one I have put a button to close it together to make a little napkin ring. It's really quite sweet. And finally my idea here is a little Prezi pocket. So if you're having a dinner party, pop a present in or indeed you could hang that on the Christmas tree. A step by step guide to accompany this video is free to download from macaroukay.com.